Hello Guardians, welcome back to Destiny Tracker. My name is KillerB61, and today we're going to talk about the Bungie podcast that took place today. On the podcast was Luke Smith, Mark Noseworthy, and Eric Osborne, some of the leading game developers for Destiny 2. And they pretty much talked about the state of Destiny for about 45 minutes. What I really liked about this uh, it, it was, well, we got to see what I believe has always been Bungie's biggest strength, which are the people behind the game, and see how they react to our passion, what their honest opinions of the current state is, and what I think we can gather from this mainly, is that they see there is a lack, a large lack, of endgame content. The, the whole podcast, they kept calling us hobbyist players, the hobbyist player. We need to do more for the hobbyist players, and when Bungie is saying that, they are referring to the players like you and I. The guys and gals who pour a thousand hours into the game and play it religiously like it's our job. They want the game to service us better. Because right now we are tearing through the game at a speed that is faster than they initially anticipated. And they were talking about the different types of players where they fit into those categories themselves. And Luke Smith himself said that he's been playing and he would say oh well I, I want to get a hunter going now and build up my warlock and all of that and after about one month of semi-casual play he's got them all nearing 300 uh, power level pretty quickly and he said himself yeah that's good that's pretty life compatible and that was their goal and some of the early social media that came out before the game was released they would say that pretty often that they wanted the game to be more compatible with life Luke Smith also added though maybe that's not good maybe I shouldn't have a full suite of power available to me yet because that's that's what they're seeing is every, everyone has what they want now. They have most or all of the desirable powerful weapons out there and now they're just collecting shards at this point. So that points to how quickly the players are getting the items in the game and progressing their characters. And they kept saying that in the future, the content teams, when they consider new things for content, in the short term and long term, they need to be looking at systems that lead to hobbyist play. You know, back to the hobbyist player. The next thing they really took a long time discussing were the processes they have for development and patching the game, and how creating things takes time, and some stuff takes more time to fix than others. Like some glitches may seem trivial because it's related to a small system, and they used the heavy ammo glitch within the Crotus End Raid as an example that even if it's small, it could be deeply ingrained in the game code, causing the issue to be extremely difficult to repair, sometimes even being unrepairable. Just That's just how it is now. Because the fact is, if they try to repair it, they could destroy the code entirely and ruin the game. They described it as if uh, they were clipping a wire on a bomb. You know, you clip the wrong wire, the whole thing goes kaboom. Overall, it really looks like Bungie is looking to communicate with the community better, simply because the silence, is, the silence causes a lot of fear and overreaction from us. And while our channel thrives off of speculation, it's not always good speculation happening. Sometimes we have a tendency to jump to conclusions and draw the worst possible scenarios, when in reality something completely different is happening. And uh, it's not always the end of end of days but sometimes it feels like it you get worried you know me as a content provider this game has changed my life and I want this game to succeed because I want to keep having amazing adventures and keep interacting with you guys the viewers and you know seeing this channel grow and when that game starts to show signs of you know an early death it makes me worry but uh you know, it was good to listen to the podcast and listen in on some of the dialogue that happens between the developers at Bungie. It was, it was really good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down at the bottom to let us know if you did. And subscribe to the channel for more guides, news, and playthroughs from DTR. Once again, my name is KillerB61. You can follow me on Twitter at Amin underscore Lamkita. And I will see you in the next one. Don't be lost.